But again, as I mentioned, this is my personal direct experience. Somebody else or there's books or there's a lot of teachers' books talking about what happens after you die, where do you go, and da 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 I really can't talk about things I don't know. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Karen. Hello, hello. Hi. I, I just wonder when you say this that you can only talk about out from your direct experience. When you say this, and 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 then you say that uh, that we're handed a script, right? What uh huh. What do you mean that you can only talk out of your direct experience? Right, exactly, right. That's okay, that's something that was shown to me. It was shown to me. So the things that I have seen and it was expressed uh, and, and uh, it's something that was shown to me. So that I can talk about. Uh, it's like when you're in some deep states of samadhi and you travel and you go to different parts of universe and you see different life forms or you have different encounters with trans-dimensional beings. So it's something you have experienced or something the divine has shown to you. Are you with me? Yes. Yeah. Is your attention with me or you're somewhere else? No, I'm with you. Okay, right. So the way it works is there's like a curtain. There is a, it's basically you have a curtain in front of you. Okay. And sometimes God takes this curtain down and shows itself to you. And then they pull the curtain back up. So that's where you get a glimpse of the absolute. You basically when they want you to know something or to see something, they reveal it to you. And I'll give you an, a simple example. What's the difference between us, which is a small group of sannyasins, small group of the monks on the path, spiritual seekers, and the mainstream world. Why the mainstream world, the mainstream people are not interested in what, what we're doing? And they, may, they probably make fun of you and me. Because to them, what we do is BS. We're the weirdos. We're strange. We're weird people. You know? Coming on this spiritual path. Are you there? Yes, yeah, I'm here. Okay, yeah. So, have you... Have you ever thought about that? Is... You, you know, you're... I don't know... I don't know about your life, I mean your family or friends or whatever, or different people you're... Is everybody spiritual in your family, in your clan, in your tribe? No, absolutely not, but I, I have many, 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 many friends that are uh, weird. In right, yeah. right, right. But, but do you agree that majority of people on this planet are not spiritual they're not on this path yes yes okay so why why are we on this path and they're not on this path why are we drawn so strongly towards god love self-realization and they're to them it's bullshit you know you can't talk about these things with them 
So why is that? It's because the self, Her Majesty, God, the Spirit, again, whatever name we want to give it, hasn't revealed itself to them. Because God has to want you to get a taste of it, get a taste of love, get a taste of that for you to come on this path. Otherwise, it's impossible. You can sit down and read about it all day long, but you're not touched. And then when the Divine Self wants to, it opens the curtain and shows its face to you. And then you're hooked. Because when you get a taste of God like that, taste of, when I say love, I'm not talking about human love, romantic love. I'm talking about divine love. When you get a taste of it, there's no way back. You can't go back. You can't turn around. You're hooked. It's like God impregnated you. You're pregnant now. And you want more. Nice to see you all. I appreciate your being and joining me. Uh, our next academy is going to be next Wednesday, same time. Uh, also, uh, those of you who are not aware of, uh, we're, I'm going to have a, a free online global self-awakening retreat. It's going to be for nine days in a row, two hours a day. And uh, you're welcome to join me. That's going to be starting on October 10th. And... Uh, we're going to be sending you the invite to it. And uh, if you feel like sharing it with your friends, whether it's on Facebook or uh, forwarding our email to your uh, beloved friends, f feel free to do so. Uh, we appreciate it. We want to spread the word that uh, this uh, retreat is available to everybody who's open to it. Also, if anybody would like to make any comments, you're welcome to uh, send me an email. My email is info at zaratustra.tv. And uh, my website is zaratustra.tv. I look forward to seeing you next week. Send you lots of love and light. Namaste.